Not entertainment. Not news. Not randomness. This is Galaxy. The following program is rated 13. Here we go! Serving the universe! <laughs> Welcome to the new week everyone. You may have realized that we're looking a bit different. Yup. We have a new name, again, but we are still here entertaining your Monday. So, I'm not gonna waste enough time and simply get on with it. And now, kick off the new week with the latest entertainment news, gossip, laughs and stories. This is G4P TV Mondays, with Emily and Trevor King. Capital Well, here we are. Today is April 15th, 2024, and this is now G4P TV Mondays. Yup, this is our name now. Well, it still feels weird saying it now. I know, but hey, change happens. So anyway, we are now called G4P TV Mondays because of curriculum reverting to G4P TV last Friday. And there are also other major changes happening around the G4P TV family over the course of the transition. Curriculum Entertainment is now G4P TV Studios, now simply known as G4P Studios. Curriculum Radio is now Galaxy Radio, and more. Now, Courage Hill the Word Girl Cuphead Mario once suggested that we should rename our podcast back to Monday Morning. But, why Monday Morning? We don't air on Monday mornings anymore. So we thought renaming G4P TV Mondays would be a good idea, or I don't know. But what do you think? Do you like our new name for this podcast? If you do, let us know in the comments below, or check us out on Spotify. Personally, I like the G4P TV name better. The curriculum name was just, well, really weird. Like, nobody even recognizes it and when people type curriculum on YouTube, all they get is just educational videos, which makes no sense. People rather just type G4P TV often because they needed it back so much, but now they got what they wanted. So yeah, it's our first week under the G4P TV name, and I'm sure you guys are pleased with the changes. Now, let's begin today's episode with good news. Emergency Lane is due to return for an 8th season tomorrow. Yay! Yay indeed. It's only been three weeks since season 7 previously ended, but now we will find out what is going to happen in the season 8 premiere. In last season's finale, we have seen everything. Like Dennis being held hostage by his nemesis, Carl Cash, who lived in St. Fern at Jock's house before he even moved there. We got to see the creator of the Carmen Mariposa AI, and finally a shooter was rampaging across the Heart Center Hospital. We have seen some characters fighting for their lives, including Geraint. Oh no, that is just awful. This is like something out of Grey's Anatomy, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Exactly who will survive the cliffhanger? Well, you will find out in the new season tomorrow. But, let me explain to you some problems regarding G4P TV's Minecraft channel. Now yeah, I know there is nothing wrong with the channel. Except some shows haven't aired new episodes for a while. For example, Sins and Loves. The last episode aired on February 19, 2024. Can you believe that? It's been two months and no new episode has been airing since. It has been on hiatus for eight weeks. Many of you guys have been wondering, Norman, where on earth is the new Sins and Loves episode? What will happen next? Well, don't worry, Sins and Loves is not cancelled, which God forbid isn't. The reason why the show was on hiatus is because Norman was busy concentrating on other shows, like podcasts, logo blooper series, and more. But, don't worry, the new episode will be out on Thursday, I hope. Well yeah, and as of right now, G4P TV's Minecraft channel is currently filled up with Minecraft Elimination Zone content. So I'm sure we can get something else new soon. Additionally, a new Yellow Bird Blaze episode was supposed to come on last week, but for some reason, it never happened. I don't know why, but it is likely because Chuck was on a world tour. But, don't worry, the new episode is coming out tomorrow, as Chuck states that he already had the new episode recorded. As you can see, it is still summery outside, 
But it won't be for long because there's gonna be a cold front sweeping through Hungary later today. Yikes. Anyway, today's new episode of The Life of Emily and Trevor will focus on that, and, don't worry, Kif is going to make a cameo in the episode, because that's what she stated on yesterday's Yellow Cast. I don't think Courage Hill the word Girl Cuphead Mario made a new episode suggestion as of the time this episode was produced, but if she does, we'll save it for a future episode. And don't forget, Wednesday is going to be the beginning of the Molly McGee week on Yellow Cast, so only Chuck, Molly, and Scratch will be presenting throughout the week. The other presenters are on holiday as a result. Gee, I wonder Travis is on holiday too? Ha 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 ha, very funny. Anyway, you may have realized that TEG 1994 is now back to its old roots, meaning that they are now using the good old Dave Madsen antics, old characters coming back, most of them revived, and more. In fact, this decision was proven so popular that even ratings for TEG 1994 videos on G4 PTV are beginning to skyrocket, I think. So, we asked Ramon about the secret of the success. Ever since I transitioned my shows to serial formats in the spring of 2023, they have begun to look really different and more dramatic than how they used to be. For PBS logo bloopers, we started doing cliffhangers in season finale episodes so that fans will know what happens next, who lives, who dies, and all. Summer season has been a tradition for my channel since the day I launched my channel, there have been many all summer long storylines happening around and all that. First in 2021, we saw Eleanor's demise, then coming back, then there was Sonic and Amy's wedding, and more. Then, in 2022, we saw the Peppagate scandal, which impacted my channel so much that I was in talks with 2TV to have my channel acquired by them. We also saw Sonic and Amy leaving over an affair, and finally we saw a dramatic shooting that killed some of our favorites, like Darwin, and Engineer. In 2023, well, everything happened. From Eleanor's shooting rampage, to the Beckmuller crisis, to Carmen causing chaos and destruction in the fun fair, and then there was Patrick Fitzgerald starting a massacre in the blooper center, which was the bloodiest video I have ever made. Now, many people have been predicting, what will happen in the 2024 summer season? Well, I'm not sure. But, let me tell you one thing. This year's summer season will be bigger, better, and crazier than ever. But let's move on with the recent changes that your channel has been having. How long have you been planning to switch your shows from serial to episodic? Four weeks, approximate. It has been going on since I switched to Vegas Pro 16 because I felt like Filmora was getting really boring, thanks to that annoying watermark my fans have been seeing, and it gave them a headache over it. I realized that Dave Madsen did a similar approach last year in 2023 when Dave Madsen dropped the parody's name for his logo blooper series in favor of, well, the bloopers name. Because the parodies era really sucked, so the bloopers era is way better than that. So now, I did exactly what Dave Madsen did. Ever since NBC logo bloopers began on my channel, everything was as if nothing actually happened. The episodic format is back, the Dave Madsen antics are back, and things are a lot lighter than how they used to be. The reason why I switched the format for my shows from serial to episodic is that the serial format is getting tired and worn out, so it was time to let it go. Another reason being is that I wanted to increase viewership for my shows so I could get more recognizable not just in Angari, but also on G4P TV. Which, ultimately, it worked. Your videos are starting to grow popularity and the fans really liked your idea of transitioning your shows back to how things used to be since 2021. And what did you think about working with Alex, Tootie, and Seth on a recent Funny Signs video you made? It was great. I'm really pleased with this and I'm honored to work with them. It's even more amazing than working with G4P TV. I'm sure there is a chance that my characters will be crossing over with other TDS universes in the G4P TV galaxy, like in Alex's universe, or 2D's universe, and beyond. Then, there is my Big Brother series, which my fans also happen to love since it began, and it's pretty popular. 
Microphone's eviction was widely popular, and she deserved to go after what she did. Now, with only nine left, who knows who will be the next to go. Thanks, Ramon. Anyway, we have run out of time, so that brings us to an end for today's episode. We hope you like our new name. We'll see you again next week with more interesting topics and light-hearted stories. The life of Emily and Trevor is coming up next. See you next week everyone. Bye-bye. Radio is part of G4P Studios, and all content belongs to their respective owners, all rights reserved.